Hey, everyone. Stephanie and Buddy Denman from the Denman Homestead. Hello. We are sitting out front. It is rainy. It's a rainy day. Trying to... What am I trying to do? I'm trying to not worry about the weather coming up. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about it. I'm trying to not. But I am worried. We have this like late season uh, cold, snap, cold, cold front. not cold snap, but cold front coming in. As of now, nothing below freezing, but getting too close to comfort. And it is a really short window. When I looked, it shows like a two to three hour window that it's going to be mid 30s <clears throat> Fahrenheit. But um, I don't know. I talked to Pops earlier about it. He was telling me that like some people that have vineyards and they get this, these late cold fronts and their grape plants are already awake and you know growing, they'll burn hay near their near their plants and the residual heat from the hay and the smoke will keep any frost that tries to build up on the ground or on the plants from building up <clears throat> i don't know we've never done that before but pretty close to freezing temperatures low of 34 right now but yeah. you said it's only for a few hours so <clears throat> yeah from like five to seven and seven thirty to eight ish in the morning on Monday morning, yeah. and it's Thursday right now. We also have a ton of plastic, um, so we can get creative. We have time to get creative with covering. Some things actually don't need to be covered. The Swiss chard's fine. Things I am worried about are peppers, basil, um, you know, squash. Squash and tomatoes, they can tolerate some cold but for sure the peppers and the basil will need to be right. taken care of but anyway we will figure that out but today <clears throat> yeah, we'll figure that out we are doing or we won't or we won't yeah <laughs> just or lose the whole garden. we'll just trash it you know what <laughs> no it'll be fine it'll be good <gasps> at least the holes are there if listen worst case scenario what <laughs> Nothing. I don't even want to think about that. I want to think about that scenario. Just putting seeds in the holes? Yeah, it's going to be fine. Our plants will Okay, our plants are live. fine. Were plants you laughing for another reason? No, I just oh. knew you were about to say, at least there's holes. We'll just rip everything up and throw seeds in the ground. and That would hurt my heart. Yeah. So we're going to be positive. We're going to think positive. Yeah. And we are going to move on. And we are going to... Burn some hay, maybe, or something. Yeah, but we're also going to get to know. We're going to. We're going to get to know each other. We're going to get to know each other. I don't know anything about her. She's a mystery. Listen, I have wanted to do a YouTube live for a long time, but with our schedules being so crazy off the charts with the kids and baseball and the garden and everything going on, yeah. we really haven't had a consistent time where we can just do a live with you guys so i thought next best thing would be you and i would just have a yeah a sit down meet and greet yeah because we want to start doing lives um yeah but at the same time we don't want to just do random lives at random times when it works best for us we want to try and get it scheduled that way it's easier for people to know when it's going to happen yeah. and uh right now that's just super difficult to find that time in our life to block out that afternoon period that we could do it mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we'll figure it out yeah we will but for now we're gonna do a video of just a q a i asked buddy to come up with five questions to ask me and I wrote down five questions to ask him. I also wrote down some bonus questions. Oh, bonus questions. Yeah, they're like rapid fire at the end. Great. Where's I'm that, prepared. That dog is just so loud. I hope that it's not so loud on our video. There's a dog over there that just will not quit. You're not prepared? I said are? I'm prepared. 
Okay, do you already have the questions in your head or did you? No, they're on my phone. Oh, I wrote mine down. I wrote mine on a sticky note. I'm so excited to get to know you. Yeah, for real. Are yours like, oh, I guess I'll find out what kind of questions yours are. <laughs> Each question I have written is about a page long. Really? No. <laughs> oh, I was like, wow. No. Um, I tried to pick questions that I didn't already know, even though, I don't know. Really? I like, I'm, and I know them, but ones that wouldn't be like as easy. Oh, okay. So should I ask you a question and you ask me a question and go back and forth like that? Sure. Okay. Can I start? Okay. 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 Are you ready mm -hmm. for the questions? Mm -hmm. What is your favorite childhood memory of G and Pops? Do they have to be the same? Does it have to be a memory of both of them or a memory of each? Okay, you could do each. It's fine. You can break it down. So, I didn't know it at the time. We'll start with Pops. Okay. Pop off. I so, didn't know it at the time because it was difficult. But when I was little, we would go down the road and we would... Um, Papa would take his tractor and we'd bale hay, right? He would take his tractor and bale the hay up. And it was square bales. We, we would, everything around here now is round bales, right? But when, that's not the way I grew up. When I grew up, everything here on this hill was square bales. Papa had a barn, des, it's still there, but it was designated to just square bales, right? <clears throat> we had very, very seldom did we have round bales. But Papa would get on the tractor, and he would just drive, and it, the baler, you know, would uh, the baler would spit out the square bales, and me and Lester and Daniel would come along behind the trailer and throw, grab the square bales that got spit up, uh, spit out of the tractor, the baler, and throw it up on the um, trailer that was driving behind us or driving behind the tractor and then we would bail it i mean we'd stack it super high right and this was super illegal but my favorite thing to illegal? do illegal no not that that wasn't illegal oh. my favorite thing to do though when we were done because it was a lot of hard work and we were there for a long time um i got to ride on top of all the bales on the way home <laughs> And it's right down the road. It wasn't far, but I, I got thought to... you were going to say, like, Pops gave me a beer. No. <laughs> I got to climb up on top of the bales that were stacked really high oh. and, and uh, ride up there on the way on the way home. Okay. And then we'd get, we'd get to... So you were, it was a lot of work to just do that. And then we would get to the um, barn and then we'd have to unload it all mm. and stack it all so it's <laughs> one of your favorite memories of Papa. yeah i really i really enjoyed those times like like i said back then it was like really hard work and then like a little bit of fun riding back and then hard work again but um it was fun it was fun doing that um for g i have lots of memories because, well, even to this day, which most people probably know, but Papa likes to stay home. G mm -hmm. likes to go do stuff. Um, oh, you know what? I know a memory of both of them that's really good. The Texas Battleship. This is going to be a really long Yeah, video. this is a long answer. <laughs> the Texas, really going to see the, the Battleship of Texas, oh. like with both of them. Yeah, that, that was, was, that was. How a, old were you? Oh, man, seven? Eight. I feel like we went several times, but I, I remember being like seven or eight years Did old. Did you get a smash penny? Yes. I went when pennies. I went to Battleship. I got a smash penny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Moody Gardens. All these these trips were, were mostly with Pop. Papa was in a good amount of them, but a lot of times it was just my mom and G. But. Uh, 
Yeah, I would say, man, I don't know. There's a lot. Easter, Easter when I was little. G used to do this thing. We don't do it anymore, but when I was growing up, and I'd stay at G's house before Easter. This is a great memory if you're a kid, right? <laughs> okay. I have so many. I just, I, it was probably, a, this is a question. Was so I would, I would be upstairs, and I'd wake up in the morning, Easter morning, and when I came downstairs, G would have the entire table. Like, you know, we, our family's always, every Sunday lunch, we've always sat at a big table, right? Lots of people around it. She would have the entire thing covered in candy. Wow. Easter baskets, candy, little toys covered that, that in that, you know, on that table. And I just remember coming down the stairs and peeking over the rail and seeing it and getting so excited. And those stairs are steep. You get too excited, you'll fall. <laughs> <laughs> fall right down. Yeah. But uh but man, Easter mornings were great, were great memories. G and Pops' house. Um, oh, yeah, good. so I don't know. I gave you enough there, right? Yes, you did. There's plenty of more. Yeah. Plenty well, I'm more. sure we'll cover those other videos <clears throat> yeah. in videos to come. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's see. My turn. <laughs> okay. It's karaoke night. Oh. And you have to get up on stage and sing a single song, one song. What song are you singing? Journey, Don't Stop Believing. Yeah. 100%. I know. You answered that much faster than I answered Mike. Yeah. I knew that one already, but I did want to tell you that Alora asked me to put that song on in the truck the other day. Journey? Yeah. Really? But Don't Stop Believing. Yeah. She And then she was singing it. That's awesome. And I was like, man, that's just like her mama. Yeah. I love me some Journey. Yep. Okay. Okay. That would have been a rapid fire. That could have been a good rapid fire. One. I think all my questions are going to be rapid fire. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, this one's kind of rapid fire for you. What? Well, I don't know, because you... Anyway. What? Because I ran. <laughs> <clears throat> I wasn't going to say okay. it. I just, right. I just stopped. All right. What genre of music do you like? Mm. Mm. Mm, yes. Yes. That's funny, because you asked me kind of a music yeah. question, too. Um, well, I go through stages. Go through stages. I would say if I had to pick two, if I had to narrow it down to just two, I would pick rock and roll. Wow, man, maybe three. <laughs> just like some good old rock and roll, you know? Yeah, good old rock and roll. From I, what? I enjoy some. Some rock and roll. Give some artists examples of rock and roll that you like. Because rock and roll is a broad spectrum. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're going to go old school. <laughs> <laughs> talking like newer stuff. Like, there's some, there was a, a, um, a comment the other day about me wearing a clutch shirt, uh, yeah. right? Yeah. And her husband loved clutch. I do love clutch. So I like clutch. Rock, go, good rock and roll band. Um, but then we can go, you know, older. Like I could go to Elvis. I mean, I love, I love Elvis. I love. How uh, I love, you love Queen. Queen, God, I love Queen. Yeah, you're a huge Queen. Do fan. love Queen. Um, I don't know. There's just so okay. much. Okay, okay. What's your next? What's the next genre? Rock and roll and. Probably like. 80s metal. 80s metal. Yeah. Like some some good 80s metal. Yeah. Some Man of War. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the third one's gonna is just such a change of direction. I love reggae music. Yes. I love reggae music. Reggae rock. Just Bob reggae, Marley. Bob Marley. Trevor Hall. Yeah. I, you know, I blame I blame my love of Bob Marley, I blame on G. Really? Yeah, because that's another thing. Growing up, G loves rock and roll. She does love rock and roll. But growing up in G's G and Papa's house as, as a little kid, you woke up every Saturday and Sunday morning to music blaring through the house. Yeah, G blared music. She did. I don't know if she's gonna. 
confess, but she did. She blared well, music in our house. That's not a bad thing. Especially when she was cleaning. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I do that. I know. You do that. But she would blare music. And a lot of the times, it would be, probably the majority of the time, it would be the local Christian radio station, KSBJ is what we have here. Um, but then there would be Bob Seger. Bob Seger would blare. And you just, I'm upstairs, and I'm like, waking up to the thumping of music and it's like la, 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 the old time rock and roll and you just get up you're like gee why uh <laughs> but, yeah yeah but but bob marley man she would she yeah. jammed some bob marley in the morning and we do uh, love some reggae though that's yeah, probably it, our number one concert we go just, to is like a lot of the yeah folk, folk music folk reggae music, music. Yeah. cuz it's just a vibe you know like There's, you you have I, like I guess I enjoy rock and roll, 80s metal, you know, like that's kind of like that adrenaline type music. Because then there's just the chill music, the I folk the music, music, the reggae music. That's what that's what I chill to. Plus, the messages are always, for, any, for most of them peaceful. anyway, like peaceful messages and like yeah. love thy neighbor. And that's mm -hmm. what we're about, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Well, so I can, I, can, I can listen to... An 80s metal, uh, like a Man of War song about splitting skulls in half and stuff and destroying your enemy <laughs> and then just change the channel and, and just be like... Three little birds <laughs> sat on my yeah. window. Okay. Yeah. Psycho. Singing sweet songs. Yeah. Yeah, you have a good singing voice. Huh? You have a good singing voice. I'm no Bob Marley. Okay, well, you want to ask me my question? Yeah. Yes. This is why lives would be great, right? Because yes. we could just talk for hours. Yes. We could just... If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what is that meal? I have that question. No way. Oh, now i got to think about that. No, no, answer. no. No. All right, go ahead. Um, one meal for the rest of my life, what would it be? We'll say it can be a main course and two sides. It's Man. one meal for the rest of your life. I'm just gonna go with tacos, rice, and beans. Wow, that's not where I expected you to go. Tacos, rice, and beans. Yeah. Okay. It, it has to be some sort of Mexican dish. I think Mexican food is my favorite. Weird. Well, followed by Italian food. What did you think? Uh, I don't know. Okay, you just I, didn't think I was. I was. I wasn't. I just didn't know you were gonna go the Mexican route. Yeah. But it makes sense. So good. So you just want to sh shoot that question back to me? Because I'm thinking about it right now. Yeah. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? <laughs> okay. Main main course or the main dish. Fish. Brisket. Side. Coleslaw. Side. Brussels sprouts. Okay. Yeah. I, th I think I could never get tired of it. Brisket, coleslaw, and Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Mm. I love Brussels sprouts. Yes, you do. I do. With some bacon. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right, so is it my turn again? Already? Oh, yeah. That was quick. That was quick. See, we're speeding this along. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there. Okay. Whether as a child or as... Our family. What is your favorite family vacation? Oh. As a child or present day? You can only pick one. My favorite vacation. It was our... I have two. I'll only pick one. Okay. Can I can I just tell you my runner up after I tell sure. you my one? Okay. Yeah. I think my favorite one was our Montana trip where we did the overnight hike mm -hmm. in the mountains in Montana. Yep. That was probably my favorite. That was awesome. But my runner up, I think oh man, I have another one too. But my runner up to that one was the Grand Canyon. Mm-hmm. Because that was like fake looking. It just it did not look real. Yeah, Seth got 
tears in her eyes when we walked up. We walked up to the Grand Canyon through, you had to park in the RV parking lot, and then you had to walk a trail, not a long one, but a trail through some shrubbery and brush, yeah. and then it just opened, opened to the Grand Canyon. Yeah. And so it, it hit you, right? We weren't driving up and seeing the Grand Canyon for a long distance and then finally getting close to it. It like hit us. You got there before I did. I walked up and I mean, I, I don't have emotions and I felt like there was, a, there was my single emotion or something was happening inside of me, but she walked up and she just like tears in her eyes, you know, because it does, it, yeah. it takes your breath away. It, it is so crazy. And it looks like you're looking at something fake. Yeah. Like, like a, green you, a green screen, like something is like you're at an IMAX theater or something. And that's just in front of you right there. And it's, it's just not real, but yeah. it is. Yeah, the Grand Canyon was the Grand Canyon was awesome. Pretty amazing, um, and to experience that with the kids mm -hmm. and everything that was pretty cool. And then we did a quiet moment. We, we did on, that a, was one, on of my one of the cliff sides, things. off the beaten path. You know, we weren't like we weren't super off the beaten path, but we weren't on the trail. We were little ways on a on a cliff side, and we just we All told the down. kids have a quiet. It's a quiet moment. You know, we're gonna just, meditate. Yeah, think about. You know, like the people you love and all that stuff. Just mm -hmm. think about it. Well, just be in the moment, truly. Yeah. Like, put, we didn't have phones. There was birds. We were able to just, like, take in the scenery. Take and in. we wanted them to really, like, just be aware. And yeah. I think that that was such a cool moment for us all. We yeah. need to have, like, just a quiet moment. It's in one of those, like, God's quiet. Creation. Yeah, quiet moments with God, right? Yeah. And, and one of the most amazing things that was that is on this earth, right? right? Yeah. Natural thing. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that was probably my runner-up. But my first one was our trip to Montana with the kids and then hiking overnight uh, in the mountains. That yeah. was such a... Um, but not Moab and hikes to all the arches when it was just the me and you trip without I the kids? I know. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I have... Not our first weekend getaway to Colorado where we packed in like I a know. million things in two days. I know, I know. <sighs> that was that was a magical trip. That one was. Yeah. <sighs> Moab had... was amazing too. We're going to see the arches, like. Yeah. I don't know. We've had lots of great trips. We have. There's just something about the mountains that. Um, the mountains does are something. calling me. Seriously, and I must go. That's a real thing. It is. Um, okay, my turn to ask you a question. Okay. Mm -hmm. You ready for your question? Ready. Okay. Hit me. If you were stuck on a deserted island, what yes. three items would you bring? You can only bring three items. It would be survival gear, because I would need to live. It would be a knife. It would be a... Uh, a uh, ferro rod. Ferro rod for fire. Okay. Yeah. See, this is where it doesn't. This my answer is right. They just like they don't fit the normal answers. You made most me people, almost fit my dream. Most people are like a movie, a book, or you know, whatever. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking with my bushcraft brain. Yeah. I'd bring a knife. I'd bring a ferro rod, and I would bring um, one of those like portable uh, like tack fishing tackle kits. Okay. Yeah. And I would live to see another day. You could be on that show alone. I don't know. I'm, I mean, I could be on it. Anyone could be on it. But how many days can you last? Right. I, I almost feel like I'd be that guy that's like, uh, there's one season where that dude was talking about how he's looking forward to bears and he's not scared of them or whatever. And then they night dropped one. him off. He had night one and he saw like bear poop on the ground. And he's like, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Come pick yeah. me up. There's an actual bear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For that's... those that don't know what the show alone is, it's on History Channel, and yeah. it's about it's a survival show, and we watch every episode, every season. We love it. It's yeah. like right up our alley. We, we do love alone. Okay, that was your question. Oh, okay, question for you now. Okay. What am I on for? I think so. Okay. Someone comes up to you, say like a billionaire or something. They oh. come up to you and they say. I'm going to let you do anything that you want to do in the entire world for one day. 
What do you choose to do? Oh. If, so, like, I could do anything if money wasn't an option. Yeah, they're going to send you somewhere. They're going to let you do a thing, whatever it is. But you have to tell them what you want to do, and you get one day to do it. Hit her with the hard one. I know what I would do. Okay. That was fast. Faster than I thought. What's that place called where they keep all of the seeds in the entire world? Oh, wow. In, like, Norway or whatever? Is it Norway or is it in the United States? I don't know. It's, There's like, a, it's like a bunker in the side of a mountain? Yeah, it's like... Yeah. I would go there and I would get, like... All the seeds? All the... I would That's get, illegal, like, I guess. You just said it. Yeah, you could do one thing. I could do... So you would just go to a bunker in the side of a mountain and take a bunch of seeds? If you could do anything the entire day... Hold on. Yeah, I would go. Yeah, Norway. I was right. Oh. Okay, so the global seed vault in Spitsbergen, part of Norway's. It's listen, Spitsbergen is Bless part of Norway's Svalbard Archipelago. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is. Uh, it's archipelago. Yeah, but I was trying to say it with like a accent. Norwegian accent. So okay. I'm so impressed with myself. I knew that Norway fact. Yeah, I'm impressed with your, yeah, your accent. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> I have so many accents. Uh, but yeah, Spitsbergen. Yeah, that's where I would go. And I would go. It's a huge safety deposit, the deposit box holding the world's largest collection of agricultural biodiversity. Yeah. I would like a shopping cart. And I just, just want like... to go see it. I wouldn't take anything. I think I would just probably much safer there than it is in Plum Grove. Well, I just want one of each. Yeah. You know, just let me have one. Uh -huh. Okay. Next I'm not, question. I'm not saying I want all of the seeds. I'm not taking. I don't want to. I don't want to run the thing. I just want to 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 have a have them. Two of each. Two of each. Yeah. <laughs> Two of each. I don't know how many. See in what there. happens. I don't know how many's in there. But I would like to, to have some. Okay. That's, that's where I would go. All right, hit me. Okay. With my best shot? Yeah, fire away. Okay. Um, what is your favorite memory with our family? Mm. Favorite memory with our family. So all five of us together. Mm -hmm. Now that the kids are older, I feel like the more recent trips that we've all been on have been more like fulfilling, I guess, because you know that they're actually like enjoying it. So I, I feel like I just kind of have to say Disney World, right? Disney World? Yeah, because everyone found something that they just loved, right? Yeah. Whether it be Caden with the roller coasters, Connor with the food, uh, the food um, scavenger hunt where yeah. we had to go around and find Ratatouille all over the park, yeah, or Epcot. or Alora with just every princess ever, you know, like, and that then me, cool. and that was my first trip. It was mine, Caden's, Connor's, and Alora's. You were the only one that had been there when you were little before. Yeah. So four of us, it was our first time to ever experience Disney. I'm really glad that you enjoyed it as much as you did with like the Star Wars world. And everything oh, yeah. Because, like, oh, my God. You're such a Star Wars I'm nerd. such a fanboy. Yeah. I was, I, me and Caden went in there and built our own lightsabers. And Caden was like, Dad, this is kind of cool. And I'm like, shh, experience, <laughs> experience the moment. You know, like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me tell you something. Caden was like, Caden went to go build this lightsaber. You could only build one, but you could have an adult go with you. So Buddy was the adult. Caden didn't build that lightsaber. You built that lightsaber. Caden's like, I think I want this gym. And you're like, no, you don't. Yeah. You got to have a red gym, son. You got to have a red gym. Yeah. Got to be cool. Hey, you were showing him the way. That's true. This is the way. This is the way. And that wasn't even a thing. Mandalorian wasn't even a thing then. Was it? Yes, it was. It was? Yeah. Maybe it was new. That's what I should have told him. Anytime he was like, no, Dad, I don't want to do this. And I'm like, this is the way. Yeah. Yeah. 
It was pretty cool. It was a cool experience. It's like a once in a lifetime because that is yeah. expensive. Yeah, it's super expensive. But, you know, we took the RV. We stayed in an RV park. Yes, we we did. didn't, you know, we took an Uber to, from the RV park. And yeah. so, you know, we, we did it budget, budget friendly, budget friendly for yeah. sure. But man, it was a great experience. It was. We, we did it the right way, I feel like. Yeah. So that's my answer. Best moment with the Ms. whole family? Five Maybe. days. Five days worth of moments, yeah. But all five of us together, Disney, Disney yeah. World. Oh, my turn? Yeah. I think there's only one left. Last question. When you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? An English teacher. Really? Crazy. You didn't know that? I did not know you wanted to be an English teacher. I knew that you were into writing um, and like putting your, uh, you have, you have like a, you had at one point like the whole like a fiction story like. Oh, I still have a story. Yeah. Yeah. A in your written. brain. Or is a nonfiction story. Yeah. 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 No, it was um, fiction. It was um, based on, yeah. But I started writing a book. Yeah. A long time ago. And that was super interesting. Yeah. But that's, in, that's okay. Yeah. It's English funny because mine was also the teaching route because I wanted I wanted to be a history professor more. I was thinking, college. Uh, yeah, college level, but I also maybe just kind of had this like Indiana Jones picture in my brain where I'd be teaching kids one minute and then hopping out a window and, you know, whipping tribal cannibals the next minute and punching Nazis. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What a roller coaster. <laughs> but uh, I did, you know, and I, I, I also come from a family of teachers, you know, like everyone in my family has is somehow involved in school. You know, yeah. and I, I grew up to be involved in school, too. You did. IT side of it, but mm -hmm. yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. English English teacher. Cool. Okay, I have some rapid fire questions. Just three. Wait, you're, you've already asked all five? Oh, you started yeah. first. Yeah. Okay. Favorite color? Black. Black. Sweet or savory? Savory. Bucket list item? What does that mean? Something. Like something I want to do before I die? Yeah. Anything? Anything. Do, 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 do. This is not rapid fire. This is the opposite of rapid fire. Okay. This is the most thinking ever. Okay. I, I guess it doesn't have to be my top. It just has to be a any... bucket list item. Okay. I want to go to Denman Island yes. in Canada. Yes. Um, near Alaska. I wonder if... Uh, Lissa? Lissa has ever... Been to Denman Island, we should ask her. Or knows about it. Yeah. Because it's kind of in between, like Seattle and Alaska. Yeah, we should it's ask her. It's in the about in between it. spaces. Yeah. I do want to go to Denman Island. Um, it's funny. You're like, you're from Alaska. It's the biggest state in the United States. Surely <laughs> you might have been. Right. I've been told it's kind of like a, a hippie artist type island, you know, like um, very. Kind of our vibe. Yeah. Very our vibe, chill, relaxed. Um, but there was like a famous Denman admiral that the island was named after. Um, There's also Alora. Oh, Alora, Canada. Yeah, spelt E L R E L O R A like our daughter. Um, and that's actually not very far away from us. That's like a straight shot up mm -hmm. of the same highway that we live near. You just got to go all the way to Canada. That is one of the trips that Buddy and I plan on making one day. That's our like one of the bucket list trips. Is we're gonna basically go all the way straight up the east coast to Canada, go over to Alaska, then go back down. Mm -hmm. Maybe when, when we retire. Yeah, I have to get be like my. Long... I have to get my passport. Yes, you do. You know, last time, well, I used to go to to Mexico with Lester. And I was a kid, so I didn't need it. And then I took cruises out of the country, didn't need a passport, which I don't know if you need one I think now. You just need your birth certificate. Yeah, birth certificate. But um, 
I've never ever in my life had a passport, so I gotta get that. I would love to visit Ireland. I would just love to go to Europe, like over there and just see that side of the world because we've never been over there. Switzerland, mm -hmm. Norway. See those old like castles, those yes. old castle ruins. I don't know if you guys know, but, or no, I don't know if you guys watch the series Outlander. I read the book, I've read the books too. But, mm, take me there. Yeah, that would yeah. be cool. Beautiful. So I hope that, you know. Yeah, that's fun. I finally know something about you. I know. We should get to know We've each other. We've gone more. all these years and I just didn't know who you were. I know. I yeah. didn't know who I was. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're a comedian. Yeah. You make I me am. laugh. I know that. I am a comedian. I was going, one of the questions I thought about was like, what makes you laugh? And then I was like, <laughs> I know that. Easy. I'm not even going to ask that question. Yeah, you made me laugh. Done. Yeah. Yeah, you cracked me up. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for joining us for this. And uh, I, you know, I'd love to do this with some some lives. Yeah, some interact YouTube with everyone. Lives, like... at, answer questions that are actually coming from the audience. Yeah, because um, I think people want to know, like, our story. Like, our yeah. origin story. And, yeah. Like, and that one's crazy because, yeah. you know, we have to we have to dive into when when I was uh, practicing um, brain trauma surgery and oh yeah, oh and I, that I hit you that. with the car yeah, and then and you had brain trauma uh -huh. and then I, being the brain trauma doctor that hit you, had to <laughs> operate on you and then you woke up and didn't know anyone and it was like and then you we fell in love with each other. <laughs> We have because to go. of my brain trauma, I <laughs> forgot about that story. How that happened? <laughs> no, we should though. We should. We we need to do another. We need to yeah. go live and talk about our story. Yeah. Minus the yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> the true the true story. Yep. How um you were being chased by the bear and I shot it. Oh. with a scope and i saved your life as a hunter oh yeah and that's right and then, and then the the winter was coming and we had to cut open the bear and, and hide inside it of it for yeah work. and i was like and i thought they smelled bad on the outside <laughs> is that a star wars right <laughs> okay i'm i'm so good i'm so good <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> okay. We, can... <laughs> we have got to stop. Yeah, we got to wrap this stop. up. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> We've already been down this road. <laughs> okay. For the fifth time. Thank yeah. you so much. Thanks so much. And uh, yeah, we'll do this again. Yeah. Hopefully live. <laughs> Hopefully live. Bye, guys. Bye.